truck, dog. You want them chicken sandwiches, man? I want them chicken sandwiches, man? What you mean? You ain't got no chicken sandwiches. I put that one, but he ain't got no. Why not, why not, why not? It's your boy Crick D in the building. And today we're gonna talk about that chicken salmon. Like that chicken salmon is some says. Y'all make sure y'all go check out Carla E Show. Cause she trying, she eating on one number, but it ain't gonna last for long, y'all. So you better enjoy that chicken salmon while you while you got it, Carla. But this man in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the man is suing the fast food chain for running out the popular chicken salmon. He said it caused mass hysteria the past few weeks. That man ain't playing, y'all. And he uh he pretty upset about that sandwich too. He like, according to the uh Time Press, Free Press, Craig Barr filed a lawsuit against uh Louisiana Banks for false advertising, deceptive business practice, and caused him to waste his countless time driving from place to place looking for a sandwich. I want he want a sandwich. Look at him. He just enjoying it. You better enjoy that sandwich right now while you can, girl. And I, I think that it was some big, big, big things going on behind that sandwich. Folks scamming people about that sandwich and all that. So if you had one, you better enjoy it. I heard folks were going crazy, jumping all off a bridge. That's the most stuff they did. But check out this little news clip, and I'll come right back and give you my commentary. Had the chance to try Popeye's new chicken sandwich, you might have to wait a while. The fast food restaurant turned to Twitter Tuesday to announce it has run out of chicken sandwiches. The sandwich that started the chicken wars on social media has caused major delays at drive throughs across the country. The restaurant did not say when it expected the sandwich to return. No game. So, uh, if you want that sandwich, you better wish you got it already. You better try to savor it and all. These folks, the sandwich is so popular, y'all. They got people bootlegging. They got people bootlegging the sandwich. I'm going to leave this link to this article below so you can read the whole thing. But the Eagle Ridge resident also claimed he was swinging out of $25 by a man on Craigslist. The man posted on Craigslist. I get my, I, hey, I got them sandwiches. He got the underground. He got the underground sandwiches. He said they hiding him in the back. He gave that man $25. He tried to get any kind of sandwich by any means necessary, y'all. I'm telling you, this that was some real serious about them sandwiches. They ain't playing. Them people ain't playing. They, if you want that sandwich, you better wish you had got it. The man got swing off $25 on Craigslist, y'all. He falls all on back page and everything. I'm telling you, uh, on Wednesday, he filed a, a class action a civil action seeking $5,000 in Hamilton County. The crunchy snack made of broccoli bread, pickles, mayo, and some fried chicken breast broke the internet when it went viral. You know what I'm saying? On August 12th. They knew damn well they supposed to have enough sandwiches. The sandwiches food caused a social media food, Popeyes and his competitors. They getting down. And Chick-fil-A. Popeyes and Chick-fil-A. And look at her. She just smacking on that Chick-fil-A. I, I'm gonna eat my I'm gonna eat my Popeye. Popeye was at war with Chick Fil A. Y'all, I'm telling you, it was some serious with the uh, chicken chicken sandwich. They must have some crack or something in that thing. Cause for people be going crazy like that and fighting all over social media and stuff, that's ridiculous. On Tuesday, Popeye announced that they will cease the sale of the sandwich after this week due to the increase in demand. But my man said they swing the folks. They ran, how you run out of chicken? And what did they put in that chicken? If you fighting over some food, that must be something serious. You can wipe a whole nation of people out with a Popeye chicken sandwich. That's crazy. It's totally, this, the man said it was totally deceptive, allegedly. He said, who runs out of chicken? Who run out of chicken? Someone got to stand up to the big corporation, he said. Everyone is captivated by these sandwiches. They got everybody gassed up, and then they shut them down. They can't even provide the sandwiches. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description below about that sandwich. But that sandwich must have been something awfully serious for people to be fighting over it and social media wars and big companies going to war. They go right there. He said, I need that bread. Look at that. The people, like I said, you can wipe a whole nation of people out with one Popeye sandwich. And this is ridiculous. Y'all better watch what you eat and eat what you watch, you did. And fighting over chicken sandwiches and going crazy and 
This man said he went from restaurant to restaurant looking for that salmon. He couldn't think straight. He he said he was going mad. He was withdrawing over that salmon. That's some food got you withdrawing. What is in that food, y'all? Think about it. You withdrawing over a chicken sandwich? You all on Craigslist trying to buy the underground chicken slap that the restaurant workers is hiding in the back? They got some stashed in the back. They selling at a high price, y'all. So if you know somebody working at Popeye's, you want one of them salmon. All you got to do is holler at Pookie and Ray Ray them and be like, hey, Ray Ray, hit me up, dog. I need one of them salmon. I got about 20 dollars because them things good, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what they injected with. I know it might be killing the world, but I need that salmon. I need my chicken crack. It's your boy Crick there in the building, and you already know how I do it. <laughs> you better grab your chicken salmon, and I'm gone.